I think sizing can be a little like trying to get a full picture, say, for example, of this elephant we have on the slide. You might find one technique, if all it did was focused on the tail, then you may end up thinking that you actually got a snake. Likewise, another sizing method may only show up, um, for example, if it's focusing on the foot or the leg of the elephant, you might think it's a tree bark. Another could be looking at the trunk, making you think it's a hose pipe. And if we're looking at the ear, um, we would actually get mistaken for a large fan. Now, obviously, all of these solutions are correct. But just like a jigsaw puzzle, you have to piece together all of these solutions to see the complete picture. I think the important message I'm trying to get across is that it is important to understand that the best choice of sizing methods depend upon the nature of the sample and what characteristics of the size distribution are most important to you. And don't forget, one method can never suit all samples. You may need to use more than one method to see the full picture.